Alrighty guys, this is Lou. I don't know if we've done any videos with Lou or not, I can't remember, but but he's a pretty nice colt. He, uh, he's a four-year-old by Cataloo out of a mare named Pepto's Miss Siren. He's Creek Plantation bred, which shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. We get a lot of those Creek horses, which we're very fond of Creek horses, so that works out pretty good for us. Again, my left foot, in, my left inside foot is forward, asking him to hold that rib cage and shoulder up. And my right outside foot is back in position C, pushing his hip up under, up under his front end. Okay, so we're just gonna, you see him, he's trying to figure his way out of that right there. And then when I feel everything just soften, you, when they get it, You'll feel them, they just soften from the tips of their ears all the way down to the soles of their feet. You can just let them walk out then and send them back the other way. I try to kind of do this at random. Just whenever I feel them soften, I'll let them go out, take them off the other way, and you can let them travel a little ways if you want to, that really is a good policy. And then pick them back up. Might have to get a little, a little insistent with that rowel, okay, with your spur. I don't mean draw back and harpoon him, but I mean really roll that rowel up there to get him off of that. He's just too stinking heavy there. There. Oh, nice, buddy. Real nice. He kind of just drew himself through that turn. You see how that's going to build. Now, we're way over exaggerating the bend right there, and there's a reason. Because it needs to be uncomfortable for him so that he finds a way out. Right? If it's not uncomfortable, he's got no reason to find a way out. I mean, he's comfortable. Why would he try to find a way out? It doesn't make any sense. So you got to make it kind of uncomfortable for him, and then they figure it out. So let's do just a little bit more of this. Really want to get him lifting those shoulders. 